Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hit or Miss TV. My name is Ramon. Ramon? Ramon. Ramon. Today on the show, I'm going to be here with my wonderful, amazingly beautiful sister, and we're going to be watching Stranger Things Season 4, Part 2. We watched the last uh, three or four episodes like a month ago, yep. which was great. And I think we both agreed that Dear Billy, the running up that hill episode was probably was, our, was amazing. And I've been sitting here waiting all day. It's probably about eight o'clock in uh, the evening and I haven't watched it because sister's been working. So I haven't been able to watch it and it's been killing me all day. So I've stayed on social media and done everything that you're supposed to do to avoid any sort of spoiler stuff. Episode eight is called Papa. So I'm guessing we're picking up with Papa. Seven. Seven. L. L. I thought it was 11. 11. <laughs> 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Hey. That's, the shop, that's the shop here in the UK. <laughs> um, this is, again, this is two episodes. Part Episode 8 is supposed to be an hour and a half, which I think it is, and the finale is two and a half hours, so we're going to watch the whole lot and do the whole thing. Um, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be sad. Do you have any expectations, or are you kind of... No, I'm not going to say anything. Just like that, just gonna. Leave yeah, I'm like... not, yeah, I'm gonna just leave it because I've enjoyed it so much so far. I don't want to ruin it for you because yeah, yeah. I was jumping ahead on the other one and guessing things, so I'm just gonna go with it. I think that this will definitely have some tragedy in it. In one of these, I do and think that there's gonna be it's something. Some twists and turns. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this one now. Stranger Things, episode eight. Season four, Papa. What have you done? You see, there's nothing to be afraid of, is there, Nancy? What the fuck? We need music! This is music! <laughs> oh no, don't be low, man. Right. She can't die at the beginning, man. So he let her go. Yeah, he's enticed in Seven Eleven. <laughs> oh man, she's got to go until eleven. What she sees. Oh shh. Very expressive, aren't you, with your emotions? Well, this I am. I care a lot about this. <laughs> I care a lot about this. The adrenaline's going, the legs are going. Fuck off. <laughs> Guess you got my message, huh? Oh no, I just always wanted to visit the Soviet Union <laughs> with Murray. <laughs> How about Elle? She's good. She misses her dad. Apparently they can climb too. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> Why ain't it dying? Dead. Not yet. What the fuck? Oh shit. So they've like been testing on them or something. I want one of them in the back over here. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> they look like cactus heads. Yeah. I can buy you a cactus. Cactus, yeah. Hey. So what was that one that was whistling around then? <sighs> Rip his head off. 
chile. Es mapo, eh. Can I show you something? Did you paint this? It, yeah. See how you're leading us here? You're guiding the whole party, inspiring us. He's twigging it. When you're different, sometimes you feel like a mistake. You make her feel like she's not a mistake at all. Like she's better for being different. Oh my god, that's... Elle needs you, Mike. And she always will. Yeah? Yeah. That's so oh, bad, oh, man. You poor him. sod. He gets it, doesn't he? And eventually it will reach a breaking point. And the dam will burst. Hawkins will fall. And the rest of the world. Guess a way well, to make a panic, really, isn't it? Thought. You eased her into it nice and gentle, just like we talked about. <laughs> Not <laughs> ominous at all. Just want to pause it for a second. Are you not noticing since like the beginning of the season up until now, like the whole of this, what, 20 minutes, it's just been serious the whole way, like it's no messing around. Yeah. It's a lot more grave danger, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot more, like there's no, there's no like cut into like little bits of music and dancing around, there's none no, of that. No, it's, no jokes, it's no. straight, this is. Yeah, heavy, mm. heavier. He's just trying to scare you, Nance. I mean, it's not real. Not yet. He's only one kill away. Jesus Christ. Try him again. Try him again. Man. I'm loving it. I fucking love it. Whatever's happening in Lenora is connected to all of this. Vecna can't hurt them. Not if he's dead. We have to go back in there. She's fucking mental. When he attacks his next victim, I'll bet you he's back in that attic. Defenseless, yeah. What about the army of bats? Distract them somehow. And uh, how do we do that exactly? No idea. But once... <laughs> Whatever you do, try not to mess. This is not a good idea at all. This is not a good idea. See, his foot's better now. 100% <laughs> fine by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah let his foot's okay now. Or is he going to start limping? Just going for it then. <laughs> He's such a legend. I love him. His fault. Word of warning, Jim. That man is more slippery than an eel dipped in baby oil. I wouldn't trust a word out of his. <laughs> well, you got some sort of car we don't know about? Yeah, it's not exactly a car. Uh, you got a ski mask or a bandana, something like that. <laughs> Yay! Michael Myers! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm so easily pleased. Aren't you just? Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I have people in Hawkins, and I'm going to send some of them over to Max Mayfield, and they will stop him. Her. Stop her. He's full of shit. Are you sure you want to do this? Okay. Pack your things. She has to go. They're not going to go. He's going to kill him. He won't let her. He won't let her leave. Six kids. Six. Yeah, six little nuggets. Three girls, three boys. <laughs> Uh, and, and every summer. No, but it's obvious why they're showing all this. Because he's going to die. It's like he only sees the darkness in us. I'll just run in the opposite direction. You got a memory in mind? This one with him, isn't it? Mm hmm. Was I there? <gasps> That's presumptuous of you. <laughs> <laughs> in season two, they turn up at school. Him and Dustin turned up at school and they were in the Ghostbusters outfits. Yeah. And they first go up to her to talk to her and they say something about going out for Halloween or something like that. I can't remember. And she said, ah, that's very presumptuous of you. We figured you'd want in. That's presumptuous of you. Yeah. Presumptuous. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. I don't remember that far back. Oh, I do. That's sweet. 
and Dustin, when she said, oh, um, that's presumptuous of you, Dustin was like, oh, thank you. And he goes, oh, that's yeah. good, is it? <laughs> is, that, yeah. is that good? I love Dustin. What weapon would you take? If you were going there now and you had to go in there and get a weapon and go to the other side, what would you take? Machete. No, yeah, you're probably right, knife. She's gay. Mm hmm Ain't she? Mm hmm How'd you know? Lesbian radar. Mm -hmm. Someone from there. Jada! Oh, is that that guy? Hey. That's yes. the guy, isn't it? Real pretty. I was gonna ask what the f happened to them. Either way, I don't really think we have any other choice here, do you? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Yeah. He's gonna kill him, isn't he? It's gonna take us two hours to get to Nell as, as it is. And uh, Ellen, one I told more. you. I told you. Max Got the military involved. And alone, you will never find your way out of this desert. I'll just kill him. Here's what we're so going dry. to do. You I'll just rip off his arms and smash his f***ing skull in. Was that for our good? Was that a right choice? You said you believed he was always alive in the darkness. Is that why I was searching the darkness? He was using her all along. Ah. Henry, who's manipulated you like some puppet. You are the one who released him You're from his prison. You're manipulative. He's a horrible p Man. It is not me. He's the monster. It's you. It is you. You are the monster. Good girl. Oh, you f***ing <laughs> star. That guy. <laughs> now. Rip his head off quick. Got the strength. You know that her and one both have to die. Is this legal? Don't they? You can't have, you know what I mean? You can't have one without the other kind of thing. How's she feeling? Right? Adorable. Deadly. <laughs> That's pretty cool actually. Isn't it? From Eddie the Banished. Hey, you're really ready for battle. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Never change, Dustin Henderson. I wasn't planning on it. Good. 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 <laughs> hey, <it's the> <laughs> There's a lot of like suggestions of people are not going to be here, and mm -hmm. aren't there? Not everything has a happy ending. Yeah, yeah. Believe me. Nice know. little chap making bombs. I have this terrible gnawing feeling that it might not work out for us this time. You think we shouldn't be doing this? But if we don't stop him, who will? It's clever the way they've written it because it's making you wonder of everyone, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, who's going to make it? Shh. I know. Shh. <laughs> Rape. <laughs> it's like the calm before the storm, a, a lot of it. Like, I really like this episode, but it's very... Is a lot of like talking and building up the characters to sort of say like, where's it all gonna go? It's like you're sitting on edge waiting for something to happen. Yeah. But it's very not slow, but it's kind of playing out and setting it up. Yeah. Isn't it? And it, then it's just gonna go to carnage. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. And I like the way that it that it's doing the um the thing with all the characters. If everyone's got that moment of like, Lucas and Max, where it's like, oh, what was your moment to your your favorite nice moment and all of that sort of stuff. And then it's got Steve with the girl there and everyone's got a moment where you think who's not going to make it <laughs> Does he really want her dead? I don't know I don't know, I don't know. Oh yes. fuck they do then Down he goes Take that off her neck For God's sake I can put her in a, in a coma, and we'll see if these murders keep happening. But if you're wrong about this... Take it. You son of a... Oh, they think it's her doing it. Shivy, five o'clock. Go on, boy. <laughs> Found ya. Add a girl. Good girl. Oh, 
Oh, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's in the middle at the back. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Please tell me you understand. I feel nothing for him. F what he's done to her. Good girl. Good girl. Goodbye. Really enjoyed it. What did you think? I thought it was really good. Don't think it was emotional like the last episodes mm. where you all your emotions are going all over the place. You're high and then you're like really distressed and then you're really angry and then you're really sad and you're emotional. There was none of that in this. I think it's just kind of stabilised and kind of setting it up for this. Big finale. Big one, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I, to be honest, I really, really enjoyed it because as much as I want all of the emotional stuff, which I know we're going to get in the final part, I think I really enjoyed that because it just, everyone kind of had a moment and there was a lot of hinting at people who might not make it. And that I, I was actually anxious myself watching it yeah because they were kept hinting it had the, the relationship between nancy and steve and it's like that hinting of like someone might not make it then dustin and there was the hinting of and he was like never change then max and lucas talking in the van there's like every there's all these hints of maybe we're not going to make it this time and that's what was it's 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 setting it up for that finale mm. but I haven't got a clue now. Like, I really don't have a clue. I don't think it looks good for Max when she's saying she's going back in. I don't think it looks good for Max at all. It don't. And you also don't think it's good for Steve, either. No. No, I think we're going to lose a few people in the last one. So we're going to... As long as it's not Dustin. No, I think he'll have, like, we were saying um, before that he's had a, a smaller part in this season. But I think in the final season, like, he'll have, like, his main story will be a lot on him because we're going to lose people here so i think it will season five will be a big part for him but oh man i didn't feel nothing for papa at the end no i don't know i don't feel no sympathy for him i hated him i thought she was quite good though i fucking love her i love her i know you do um all right guys well we're going to get drinks and stuff and then we're going to be back for the next one so we'll see you again soon peace <laughs>